Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today we are going to talk about another Distro Wars, and we're going to go with Manjaro versus Endeavor. Of course, Manjaro recently had some community debacle, which I looked at and still think is a little bit of a non-issue. But nevertheless, some people in the comments to that video have also said Manjaro is becoming very corporate. And when that happens, we get Ubuntu. And so some people might want to consider jumping ship from Manjaro. And when they do that, what we might start to see is uh, we might start looking at other options. And Manjaro itself is still one of my highly recommended, especially if you want an Arch-based system. Manjaro is my first go-to because it's out of the box, extremely easy to use, very well themed works better than most other distributions out there that I have seen. And so what we're going to do is look at Manjaro and compare this to Endeavor OS, which is another way to install Arch. You're going to go a little bit closer to pure Arch. So heading on over to Manjaro's website, manjaro.org, we have uh, the basic information. It just is basics. We're going to hit the try button, and this is going to take us over to our official downloads. So the official editions our XFCE, which is the one we're going to be looking at. We have Plasma, GNOME, and Architect. Architect allows you to choose the, your kernels, your stable testing, unstable branches. You can choose your desktop from nearly everything. If you want Deepin on Manjaro, this is the way to get it now. Uh, there's no longer an official community version. And then there's a lot of other things that you can do inside of Architect. And I have a whole separate video on that. If you do want other additions, head on over to the community additions. You can get Awesome, B-Spawn, Budgie, Cinnamon, i3, LXDE, LXQT, Mate, Openbox. And there's also some ARM additions as well. So we have Pine Books, we have Raspberry Pis. With Rock Pro, uh, Rock Pro, variety of other things, and there's some development stuff there as well. So you can grab whichever one of those suits the best. Like I said, I'm using the official XFCE, which in my opinion is one of the greatest XFCE themed Linux distributions. Now we're going to be looking at Endeavor OS, which is uh, born out of the ashes of Antergos, and this is now a one-year-old project, and it's becoming quickly my my go-to method to install Arch. It has some downsides in that you don't have nearly any customization you can do, but you can actually go through and install whichever desktop environment that you want out of nearly all of them. And there's a few other tweaks that you can do as well. But you'll land on the desktop with a well-configured, ready-to-go, out-of-the-box uh, Arch install. Now, the difference, of course, uh, Endeavor OS is going to be using Arch repositories versus Manjaro uses the Manjaro repositories, which are just a little bit behind Arch. They basically use the Arch. They make sure there's no real bugs in it. And about a week or so later, usually they push those out. Although there was a, a delay in the latest version as I was going here. If you head on over, you can grab the latest release for Endeavor OS. And this is going to get you a installer which if you install it using what's called the offline method you will get the xfce desktop with the current live key configuration you can choose to do the online where you can choose your desktop environment and a few other settings as well but not nearly as much as say arco linux or arch labs which gives you a lot better more custom controlled arch installer so uh, we're going to go ahead and download this guy and then we'll have a look at both of these two distributions so first let's head on over to manjaro all right so here we are on the manjaro um, login screen we can actually see here that i mean every detail in manjaro is is excellent this is just a very well themed it matches the rest of the system theming as well so go ahead and get logged in. And then once we're logged in, then it's going to greet us with a welcome screen. So the welcome screen will give you tips and tricks and other things that you might need to get started in on your journey down Manjaro. So over here, we have readme information, mailing list information. Um, we can turn this guy off by toggling this off, or you can head on over to applications. This is a very nice installer just for some basic uh, installation. You can see Firefox is already installed. We can install Brave, Chromium, Midori, Opera. Under email, we can install Evolution, uh, Selfie, not played with that one before, but the uh, Thunderbird is already installed. 
I did not install an office suite. We do have a variety of office suites you can install, um, but I did not actually install one of those. And then you can kind of see that there's a lot of other tools here. Now, the other thing, though, that we get with Manjaro is we get Pomoc installed. So um, if, we, uh, if we go ahead and uh, look for that, this is our, I think it's our software, okay, add remove software, there it is. So when we do add remove software, here we have uh, a very nice installer. We can see what's there, what's not there. We can go to various settings. Now, Manjaro, though, does absolutely the one thing it does better than any other distribution that I know of out of the box is it has the best management for snap packs, uh, snaps, flat packs, excuse me, and uh, AUR. So right inside of here, we can go ahead and toggle our various settings. Here's uh, our official repositories. We can enable Arch user uh, repositories. We can enable or disable snap. We can enable or disable flat pack. Uh, here's uh, the, you can set your version, your number of packages to keep in cache. You can go ahead and clean up the cache if you want to. You can remove only versions of uninstalled packages. So the settings and preferences inside of Pomac are absolutely the best, making this one of the best uh, GUI package installers right here so you don't actually have to manage a whole lot. What's up down here on the Manjaro logo here? This is actually um, a uh, system update where we can look at what kernels we have. So we can install... We can install the experimental kernel. Ooh, we can go with the 5.7.9.1. We're right now we're running on 5.6. So we have a variety of different kernels that we can install. Uh, we can go back to 5.4. We can even go back to 4.19 if we want to. And so we actually have a variety of different kernels we can install right from the GUI out of the box. Uh, like I said, the theming on Manjaro is one of the best. If you're looking for a good, attractive system, it just looks really good. Out of the box, it has all the basic settings you might want. The, um, the theming is good. It's very intuitive. Everything in here makes a lot of sense. Applications, we're going to have just enough things to feel like a complete system. We have like CD, DVD burners, other utilities like that installed. Let's go ahead and see what our task manager looks like. We're using 10% of our 6 gigs, so about 600 megabytes. All right, uh, as far as games, we have Steam pre-installed, graphics, we have GIMP, uh, G-Color, uh, is it Vunor? Uh, image Viewer, basic Image Viewer. We have Firefox, Hexchat, Pigeon, Steam, Thunderbird under Internet. We have VLC, uh, Pulse Audio, Audacious, We have a dictionary, a calendar, because I did not install an office suite. That's a, an option that we have to install or to not install. And inside of our system uh, settings here, we just have all of the variety of system settings that you're going to um, you're going to have out of the box. Overall, Manjaro is nice, easy to install, easy to use. The installation is a breeze. Just took a few minutes. It will uh, allow you to check your updates really quick. It'll give you a pop-up that updates are, are needed. You go ahead and run your updates, and you're pretty much set to go. So there is Manjaro. So we're going to come on back and have a look at um, Endeavor OS next. So here we are on Endeavor OS, and once again, we do have a welcome screen. We have our general information over here in tabs. We have our after install. These are things that you don't find on, uh, on Manjaro, but you can update your mirrors. So if you click on each of these buttons, we're not going to click on all of them, but if you click on all these buttons, you can choose where you're updating your mirrors from. You can click the system update, which is going to run an installer. It's going to boot up a terminal. You have to enter your password. Package cleanup configuration. This is a new feature. I highlighted this in my recent Endeavor video. So this will go through and clean up the old package cache, which is a useful thing to have. The dis change your display manager. If you can change between whichever display managers you want, you might have to have those installed. Apparently, it probably does have of them all installed. I just have to choose which one I want. We have wallpapers. We have a uh, vanilla theme. So over here, you can go ahead and install the vanilla theme. We're not going to go ahead and do that, but... Um, uh, what it's going to do is it's going to get uh, get rid of the Endeavor theming and install just the vanilla theming for 
uh, XFCE, which I think this is definitely a lot better. And then of course you can reset it back to here. As far as our tips, we do have uh, personal commands. This is actually a new feature. Again, we highlighted this in my video about uh, Antergos. We have package management. We have uh, hardware and network, Bluetooth. So these are just extra things that you want. If you're using NVIDIA, you might want to check out the NVIDIA users button. I believe that's going to open up a web page. I think all of these guys are going to open up a web page. Yeah, so they're going to talk about how to install packages. Uh, so you can see that you're going to be using um, you're going to be using Pac-Man, except this guy here, it is actually walking through how to install Pomac. So if you do want Pomac, you can go ahead and um, uh, and use that because otherwise, out of the box, this one does not actually have a GUI package installer. Now we do have another new tool called uh, a kernel manager, AKM. This one will allow you to install the uh, the LTS kernel, the standard kernel, the Zen kernel, and uh, another one other kernel. But it doesn't give you all of the versions that we saw in Manjaro. So if you want different versions of kernels, you have to go back through and manually install those. We have other software, LibreOffice, Chromium, a firewall, and Bluetooth management tools over there as well. So that's kind of what we have out of the box. As far as our theming, I do like Manjaro a little bit better, although this is not bad at all. Uh, they did do a decent job on the, on the overall theming. And uh, I do like the semi-transparency. I don't like the material design as much that like Manjaro has, although Manjaro does it well. But I do like transparencies and more skeuomorphisms when I see them uh, in modern systems. We do have a, uh, I don't think this is HTOP, but it is something of a memory. So you can see we're running about the same amount of memory, about 10% or so, uh, which is... Uh, basically the same thing that Manjaro was running. As for software out of the box, um, we don't have nearly as many tools installed. I think a lot of that's because Endeavor really does want you to customize your system uh, without putting a lot of other things, whereas Manjaro is more of an out-of-the-box solution, which means it has more system tools that a new user might be looking for out of the box. Here's the development, just an icon browser. Graphics, just an image viewer over here on internet. We have transmission, Firefox, uh, GFTP, multimedia. We have parole, just don't call the officer. Uh, pulse audio volume control. Office, we just have uh, orange calendar. Basically all the things that you're going to get inside of uh, XFCE. So you can see here, uh, here's our settings manager. Same thing we saw over in Manjaro. It's effectively the same. Basically, all we're going to get is a very similar layout, very similar setup. We do have a different menu here in Endeavor. You can change this to the other menu, the one they have in Manjaro if you like, or you can kind of keep this one. That's up to your preference. We also don't have desktop icons on the desktop out of the box. You can, of course, uh, go ahead and, and make those changes inside of your, your system here if you want to. So that's not a real big deal. We have a variety of backgrounds. Uh, most of these backgrounds are going to be very similar. just depends on which coloration you want. So very nice to, to have a variety of, of color choices there, depending on what you're looking for. It's the difference between these two. Oh. Okay, that depends. Do you want the open box or the gnome or the budgie? You know, <laughs> that's that's kind of cool. All right, so uh, there's kind of what what we have as far as our um, uh, as far as our our desktop layout. Overall, though. Um, they're both going to be pretty good systems out of the box. You can see they're fairly similar. Endeavor is going to get you closer to Arch. Manjaro is going to get you a little bit more user friendly and a little bit, uh, just a little bit, um, uh, I want to say a little bit uh, easier to work with without having to go through and figure out, uh, figure out how to do a lot of things. So in basic summary, I think that they're both excellent distributions. I'm not going to be quick to jump on the Manjaro's going all corporate right away. It's something I'll keep an eye on, and you should too, particularly if you use Manjaro. But I think that for a while at least, they're going to be just fine. There's no reason to jump from Manjaro right now. But if you are, I just wanted to do this video to give you a comparison about what you could jump to that's very similar. Endeavor does appear to be my go-to arch installer now. 
it just gets us a very nice, easy to use, highly configured out of the box system without having to know a whole lot about Arch. Maybe that's a bad thing. Maybe we should be learning more about Arch. But if you're like me and you're less interested in learning all of the fine intricacies of the system and more interested in having a computer to get your work done on, then that's that's going to be a difference that, that you're going you're gonna to have to work with. Overall, I think Manjaro is going to win this in that it's better themed. It looks better. It has more basic user tools out of the box. It's easier to configure and install. And overall, it has a lot more options. GUI package management is, is a big deal, particularly for new users. Uh, your choice of Office software or to install them. And there actually is, we didn't mention it before, but there is a, a minimal Manjaro install as well. So I think Manjaro has a lot more options. Of course, it makes sense. Endeavor is one years old. Manjaro is a mature operating system. So it's no surprise that we see that. But if you are needing something closer to Arch or you're concerned about the direction Manjaro is going, Endeavor is an excellent place to jump to. You have your variety of desktop environments, just like on Manjaro. You just might have to deal with a little bit more configuration here and there. Overall, both of these are excellent distributions. Both of them are definitely worth installing. And let me know your comments on all these, your favorite system, maybe your favorite way to install Arch. Let me know all those in the comments down below. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.